Alright, I watched this movie a year after it came out. Don't judge, I just didn't want to be like anybody else. There's this guy with broken legs who goes on this mission. Then he goes into this machine which makes him go into these blue avatars. So what do these people do? He infiltrates some other avatars to find stuff in their homeland. So the people he's working for will have to tear down their homes to find it. And the guy has a change of heart and ends up helping them and falls for one of the people. And he helps the people fight against the people he was working for. Uh, is that it? Why does that sound so familiar? Now I know why people criticize this movie! The plot is fucking ripped off! The technology can only hide so much! A man is part of a group that wants to destroy a place, and in that place there are living people in there. And he falls for one of those people, and he has a change of heart. And someone who he's working for wants to destroy that place so he can complete his main objective. Pocahontas! How unoriginal. You took a premise from a historically inaccurate Disney movie and made it into your own? Yeah, you put a lot of action into it. Sure, you covered it all with groundbreaking technology. Okay, you put beautiful atmosphere. Make the whole movie look amazing. But it can only hide so much! I bet you the director of Pocahontas went to James Cameron's house, knock on his door, and he'd be like, You stole my story. I mean, why see a movie with amazing special effects with the same plot at theaters when you can see the same thing from the original at home? It's like going to the theater to see a crappy-ass remake of a better original. Okay, bad example. It's like going to the theater to see a crappy movie based on a video game. Okay, another bad example. It's like going to the theater and watching a crappy movie based on an amazing cartoon. You know what? Hollywood fucking sucks! No! No! We're not going back there! And what about the characters? I don't know. They're practically non-existent. The guy with the broken body part with the conscience? The guy who's a friend to the broken guy and is loyal no matter what? The woman who's tough but is really loyal to her associates? The man who will destroy anything that gets in his way? The other man who will go along with the mission no matter what anybody else says? CARDBOARD CUTOUTS! ABSOLUTE CARDBOARD CUTOUTS! These people are so underdeveloped that you can run the movie without them! There will be a documentary on how people are discriminated and how they're being pushed by and away from society. Ah! Bottom line, the movie's great. It's groundbreaking. And it would have been a lot better if the plot hadn't been rehashed! The character should have been more evolved than what was given to us. And I'll admit, I was bored at some parts. Almost went to sleep at one point. All in all, the movie's amazing, but it could have been a whole lot better. In the end, it's... just amazing. Amazing technology, mediocre story. What are you gonna do? Next movie.